Hello Sagittarius. A really tough step in the right direction is only going to feel so far when really it's a quantum leap. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Sagittarius tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies, but multiple have been coming out this week a couple times. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Be the bridge. It's come out, I think, three times this week. Number 51. Expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. Because it's time for a quantum leap. Six and a seven. Prepare for a makeover. Unfortunately, it's not coming across as new hair, new makeup, new clothes. It could be for someone. It actually has come across as that before in the past. But this is this is come this is coming up as you. Soul level kind of stuff. From one step to the next. Hear me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. Are we okay here? There we go. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. Devil there underneath, card of Capricorn. Two of Wands, Strength, card of Leo. King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Two of Swords, the Creator, Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We have the Devil with. Oh. Oh, who had a reading like this? Was it Scorpio? If you have strong Scorpio in your chart, you're going to want to check out that reading because that it was it was nuts. But um, there's there's a similar kind of vibe here. OK, I'm reading this as you, Satch. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. Two of Wands, as I always say, if you've been following my channel, thank you if you have. Welcome if you're new. Um, Two of Wands is not just a choice point, okay? Um, it's also new partnerships or contracts. And since it's between two people, this is feeling like the re-evaluation of a contract. Because there's a lot of block energy here. Okay, there's a lot of block energy here. Um, it, it does feel like, I'm getting you as the masculine and this is the feminine. Um, it does feel like, um, how do I say it without sound, sounding like a total jerk? Or wait, do I care? Um, it, it sounds like this feminine has been withholding. And it doesn't have to be just sex. It could, it could, it could be mentally, emotionally... Anything, anything, some big withholding vibes here. You do not want to renew and instead you are keeping an eye on something or someone else elsewhere. Okay, you do not want to renew this. Okay. So it looks like a choice point in a partnership did happen. Let's see. Let's get into the situation, the two of wands. Let's expand on this to see what's happening. So it's like this is from one step to another on the soul journey, but it's going to feel like, I mean, it says a quantum leap. It's going to feel like leaps and bounds. Let's see. The world. Yep. Six of cups. Ending something with someone you've known for a long time. 
withdrawing your cup from it. Page of Pentacles. What'd you learn? Oh. Okay, so you learn there's a part of you that you need to heal before you choose connection again. What part of the star did you not see? What part of the star? Could quite literally be an Aquarius. Oh, you didn't see where your heart truly lied. Whoa. <laughs> you didn't see, Eight of Swords star, where your heart truly went to. Could be someone with Virgo or Earth, strong Earth in their chart. There was a risk to be taken here with someone that was a faded connection that was missed. Because the choice was made to stay with someone that you've already been with for a while. Definitely you're going to want to check out the Scorpio reading. But this is actively choosing to withdraw your cup from a situation to learn something new based on the truth that you learned about yourself. Which is awesome. That's, that's the quantum loop. That's awesome. Choosing to close this thing that you've been at it for a while. Show me strength for Sag. Oh, <laughs> some of y'all are really surprising me this week, and it's been quite lovely. Strength card of Leo, Chariot, Cancer Energy, Ace of Cups. You, you, you want to hop on a plane, in the car, train, whatever, and go towards this Ace of Cups. New beginning in love, relationships. Wow. Building the courage towards that. Look at you. Show me the Two of Swords. You're not telling anyone. <laughs> You're not telling anyone. Um, so, um, Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Justice, Libra Energy. You are not telling anyone that you are... See you, you could be going to therapy, life coach, whatever. You are not telling anyone what you're doing to fix yourself. You're not telling a, anyone a damn thing. I mean, that tells me that your circle isn't safe to be you. Show me the Page of Swords, or it's far, it's totally integrated with this person, so you couldn't even say anything if you wanted to. Show me the Page of Swords. Who are we watching here? Hmm. Uh-huh. Whoops. Okay. Mm hmm Watching where that person that left went to. That person that was treated either as an option or confused to be a friend. Confused to be a friend, which was a lie. Whether you realized it at the time or not, it was a lie the moment it was thought, the moment it was said. Okay, just a flat out lie. You can argue with me all you want. It's a lie. Even if you didn't realize it at the time. Okay, let's see what's going on with this person that you're ending a cycle with. Significant one, a long one. Show me the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Show me the King of Cups. Turning colder and more anxious, trying to trying to resist, tie up this thing from ending, trying to tie it up from ending is trying to stop it at the nine, right? Uh, so it won't get to the tens. Nine of swords, ten of swords, hangman, trying to hang this up. Okay, um, she's playing she's playing defense, <laughs> but you're coming in with the world. You you can't. You can't go back from that. You, you can't, you can restart. You can start over, but you can't go back. Show me the creator, please. There's a bitterness around this creator energy. The lovers, the four of wands, the high priestess, ten of pentacles. Mmm, did she ever, hold on. Ooh, oh, and the fool. Show me the lovers. Was there, was there ever actually love here? Be honest. Oh, there was. 
little bit of passion. A little bit of, there was love, a little bit of passion at one time. Not anymore. It got some kind of, this looks sketchy. Um, <laughs> if, if it was the magician in the Ten of Cups, I'd say that's really beautiful. Magician, Ten of Cups, devil. This was a situation that made her very happy and comfortable. It was a lover's connection. It was very... It was very comfortable. Four of Wands, High Priestess, Card of Pisces, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Having to put it down in order. There's there's a stress in having to start over, which tells me I wonder if you cash flow your guys' lifestyle. If it's so stressful to start over. Don't get me wrong. Breakups suck and they hurt no matter if you saw it coming or not. But this amount of stress, when it was all of this ease before, makes me think okay four of pentacles show me the four of pentacles please hierophant card of taurus page pentacles ah yeah withholding giving themselves permission to learn something new that would move them forward in life just deny 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 What's this person's problem? They don't want to heal. They don't want to start over. They want to keep gaining. They just want to keep gaining. They don't want to see that your heart has moved on elsewhere. Do, do, do they love Sag now? Like right now? They love how much you work and how much you spoil them. I'm getting spoiled with three of cups, ten of swords underneath. They love how much you work, how much money you bring in. That, that facilitates, supports their lifestyle. That's the answer. That's what they love. Okay, that's what they love. They don't they don't want anything else. They just want the their fairy tale to continue. Okay, let's see. It's always good to know, right? <laughs> it is. It's always good to know. Let's see. So who does Sag want? Who who does who does Sag want so I know how to go into the extended because it doesn't feel like this person, but shit. And there's you on the bottom. <laughs> so this has come out. This is, I think, the third time this week. You want your divine feminine counterpart. Okay. Usually readers will tell you that the um, emperor and the empress is the divine masculine and the divine feminine in physical form. The sun and the moon is them in God and goddess form. So there's father God, mother goddess. Right, that's the, these are the celestial body version of mother and father God. Okay, um, and you on the bottom, you want the ultimate, and this ain't it, my friend, because <laughs> you are bringing this to a close after a long time. After a long time, so I'm gonna head over to the extended. I'm gonna see what's going on with the moon to your sun. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's going on with them. Probably has something to do with this person that's treated as an option, optional friend situation. I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy, their near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you over there. Bye. Ooh.